you. Yep, looks right. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Okay, so yeah, just click on the view resource. And by the way, this is how your students are going to do it too. Uh, I okay. mean, you already got it there. View resource, the top one, Alex. Yeah, at the bot right there where the link is at the bottom there. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So this is exactly what your students will do too. Okay. Do you think they ever have trouble with this kind of thing? I would think not. They're pretty quick with this kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, some are surprisingly bad with uh, with technology. Um, I mean, I sort of force them to okay. deal with it themselves, right? Like, you know, I'll, I'll mm -hmm. help them a little bit, but if it gets too much, I'll say call, you know, tech support um, okay. for computer issues for the most part. One okay. thing you're going to have to worry about a little bit in this class is they should be using Excel. They should uh -huh. not be using numbers. They should not be using uh, Google Sheets, right? Some okay. of the stuff we give them will break uh, if they use, I mean, numbers typically does okay, but Google Sheets will break a lot of stuff. Um, and so tr try your best to catch that when they're doing the DQs. Okay. Because um, the DQs in this class are really designed to get them ready for the major assignments. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I mean, there, and, and then there's extra things too that, I mean, you can even use some of the resources I have if you want. Um, but uh, um, tr anyway, try to catch that early. So, but but do expect some people to have issues with tech, right? Okay. They're they're okay. not always super at it. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So you're gonna say no, and by the way, the students should do the same thing. They should typically say no. I need a new student account, right? So you're okay. gonna say no. I need an instructor account. Okay. Let me kind of follow my instructions and make sure that I'm finding everything. Okay. If you have not used in this clay in this case, click no. Okay. Yep. And if then you had you, if you had used it, it would actually look different here, right? So next time you do it, this sheet won't come up. Okay. Okay, go ahead, continue. Okay. And then you have to, I think you're just gonna accept all that stuff. Okay. And then there's, a, you gotta click the little agree box. Okay. So, and you say this will not happen in my second course. I've never seen it happen. For me, it only happened once. So I, I think this okay. should only happen once, yeah. Okay, and then continue. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you teach another course that uses Alex, it probably won't happen again either. Like if you do 154, because now you've got this account that's with that email address, so it should just recognize you. Right. So when when they were um, when my scheduler contacted me, she said all that they are in need of right now is just 144, and she said that could change, but she did not anticipate it. Apparent, and you would probably know better. It's 144 that's just skyrocketing. She said. Hmm, that's interesting. I mean, I'm actually surprised that they're adjuncting so many 144, but maybe it maybe it really is just that many. So, um, yeah, click click create. Okay, let me follow my instructions. Yeah, you can check just to make sure. But yeah, actually, if you find a mistake in the instructions, let me know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh. Uh... In the instructions, it says a new Alex class, but I'm not seeing that. But then it says create. So you say create is correct. Yeah, so create a new class. Yeah, don't ever use the copy. You may be tempted to use the copy because it would maybe make things seem easier for you. Um, but sometimes we change the master template. And so if you're just copying old templates, you're not going to get the new templates in there. Um, okay. So do always do it this way, even though it might take a little extra work to set up the class. It's okay. So okay. if it's my second and third course, never copy. I would say never copy. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to write that down. Never copy. Always create. By the way, I think, uh, I think I always have this on recording by default. So if you want this after we're done, you can, you can have I a copy too. Okay. I would love it if you would send it to me. That would be wonderful. Okay. Yep. So go ahead and click create. I did. Um, did it not, it didn't do it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Create. Yeah. It looked the same to me for a sec. Create a class linked to a master template. Yeah. So where the mouse is, where the pointer is, is the right one there. 
Okay, I'm just looking at the instructions. Everything's here. I just, I kind of think Alex interchanged a couple of the steps. Uh, they, you know, I mean, they do update things. I mean, this is a do. problem with, with online stuff. Sometimes things get a little bit out of sync. So right. it's you, okay. you should expect things to be close, but not perfect. You know? I'm so glad you, you offered to do this because that stuff out of order, I would have worried. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, if it was my second course, I wouldn't, but my first one, I worry about everything. Okay. Create a class linked to master template. Okay. Okay. And now you're going to select 144 and there should just be one non-traditional 144. So not the, not the trad means traditional. So you're going right. to go down and look for non-trad down there. So there it is. Okay. I'm going to write that down. And and we do update this one every so often. The basic name will stay the same, but the date part will change. Okay, but I would never select trad, the traditional. I would always want non-trad. That's right. Okay. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a completely incorrect shell. <laughs> I would think so. That is not good. Okay. <laughs> now, you can unlink. If you make a mistake, you can unlink them, right? So that's okay. that's a thing maybe to know. Okay, so I selected that and then continue. And then you're just going to do create class. Um, and the not there. change, not change. Oh, oh, just go down and create. Yep. Okay. That's on the paperwork. And now go to the Alex dashboard. So this is usually just choosing the default each time. The the big sort of blue, yeah, that thing. Okay, I'm gonna write that down. Okay, so this is another thing that I think will happen just once. That okay. this mm -hmm. little stuff they're doing now will just happen once. Okay, I'm getting a closed captioning thing. Should I just say next? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I just... mean the closed captioning is from uh, is from Zoom. You know, I do I use the same thing when meeting oh. with students, and I have some students need to read it, and you know, all okay. sorts of things. Got yeah, it. just. Read these things if you want, but you know, just yeah, go through this little. It's like a little tutorial, I suppose. Okay. On Alex. Uh, okay. And then finish. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now now there's now there's things you have to do each time. So um, I would click on the thing that says class summary. So there's these little sort of squares up here. So I would click into class summary to start with. Okay, and you say this happens every course. Yeah, you have to do little tweaks. Um, the the it's not set up to alter the dates automatically. So you have to do a bunch of things with dates, and you might want to do some stuff with naming and some other things. So okay. yeah, go ahead, go ahead and click into the one that says class summary there. Right into the picture of the textbook. Ah, got it. Okay, I'm going to write that down. Uh, and then and then do the edit class information. Uh, it's a very top. The very top. But it says it's class information and content, and then there's like a little edit pin yes. thing there. Mm -hmm. I think this might this might actually be where you're able to unpair too. So one thing I do is I change these, like the class name. I tend to just knock it down to math 144. And then for the section, I usually put the date instead of having this 
the, the 0502 is kind of meaningless. Like you might have several 0502s, right? So you might want to put you might want to put the date there instead, so you can recognize which class this is. Do um, you want to use maybe the start date? That's what I do. So okay. so I I take the class name and I just erase everything past the mat 144 and just call it math 144. And then for the and then for the section name, now you could leave it like that because that's got the start date there, right? I usually just put the start date in the section name. That's usually where I put it. But See, I mean, you can do whatever you want to do. I think it actually it it starts Monday, so it would be the twenty second. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you want to change this. Yeah, so this is part of the thing that doesn't change, right? So yeah, you want to make that you know one twenty two um, twenty four. You don't actually, have to put all that stuff back in unless you want. I'm actually going to leave the non traditional. Okay. If it's okay. Oh yeah, this is totally up to you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and you can always come back and edit this later if you want to. So you can change these things. I usually set the class dates to actually match more or less the dates of my class. Again, that isn't really that relevant. It just, maybe when the students see it on the calendar, it makes more sense to them. So I usually have it start Jan 22 for this one. Okay. And then I, then I go look at the class and see when it actually ends. And I set the end date to be about two weeks after the official end date of the class. In case you have people with disabilities, you need to be able to extend it, right? Okay. Um, is there anything wrong with just leaving it as it no, is? No, you can you can leave it. It just it. what happens what happens is if you get a bunch of these, they won't mm -hmm. automatically archive after a while. So you get this huge long list of stuff, right? Yeah. Whereas if you set the end date, um, they tend to archive them two weeks after the class ends, and so you, they don't keep showing up on your list, which is kind of nice. Okay, I'm just gonna jot a couple of things down: class name, class dates. Yeah, nothing on this page is mandatory. It's just okay. nice to do some stuff. Go down a little bit. I think this might be where you can unlink if you want to. Is that the bottom of the page? Um, yeah, I'm at maybe the bottom. Not. Okay, maybe not. I forget where you can unlink. Um, okay, yeah, just go ahead and push save. Now you can always come back and edit this later. And you can edit it at any time. It doesn't affect what the students are doing you, if you okay. want to come back and change something. Um, the bigger thing we need to do is set the dates correctly, and then make, okay. and then you have to make some decisions about how you want to deal with assignments. So go to assignments, and then you have to click again. Yeah, it's kind of weird, <laughs> right? And and here's where you're going to have to. So there's two different kinds of things. Some things are um, modules. So the homeworks are are what's called Alex modules. Are you familiar with Alex? Somewhat, uh, we at the other institution, we've never done the pie. It's always been just more like a homework system within Alex. So this is a mix, right? So the okay. the modules are the um, adaptive part, right? And you have to set the dates separately from the way you set the non-adaptive part. So if you click on type, so click at the very top of that list or type, so it'll sort it by type. Okay. Yep. Just click on type. Yep. So see all the things with that little pie bit, those are the module bits, right? And everything below the reviews and final exam and stuff, those are all the sort of standard homework type parts, okay? right? And we've got to sort of mess with the dates separately on the two on the two things, right? So so just go ahead and click into homework one. This is gonna allow us to, met, to change all the module dates correctly. Okay, do we say again, please, we want topic one homework? Yeah, click there. Okay. It's gonna actually gonna open up all of them is what it's gonna do. Okay. Okay, and then you can uh, you can collapse the list of stuff. So you can click on the little um, that button right next to your mouse, and it'll fold up that thing there. The little oh, I see. I, it's my mouse, not your mouse. <laughs> yeah, go go over a little bit to the left. And down, down. Oh no, no, you went too far. <laughs> go back, sort of to the right. Go back to the, the right one fifth of the page, right? So over, 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 no, further. Yeah, one, yeah, oh, there, right there. Click right there. It'll, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, click that a second time. There, so they're all folded, right? I just want to see the dates, right? Okay, so now we got to sort of do a bunch of little uh, changes here. So click on the start date. 115 needs to be 122, right? So you're going to change that. Um, the one that's in red there, right? You can click anywhere in that red square. 
I'm gonna change that to 122. Okay. The next the next one you need to change to 128. The one that says 121, right? We're gonna change to Sunday, which is 128. Okay. You got to change the next one to 129, right? You you get the idea here. We got to just move everything up, all all the way through, right? So this is going to go to the fourth, not the fifth, but the fourth. They end on Sunday, okay. Open on Monday, right? Fifth, yeah. So yeah, just keep do all those things. Okay, now I'm in February, so it would be 11. Please double check me as I go, and I'll just do them all. Okay, open on 12. Okay. 18, 19, 25. Yep, good. And then save. Can I ask why are there not seven? Because there's seven weeks. So there's only, um, there's six adaptive homeworks. And then in the seventh week, there's a final. And the thing that's called the practice final does count for their homework that week, but okay. it's non-adaptive. So it's not in the adaptive part. Okay. Um, okay, so sort these by type again. Now we got to take care of the non-adaptive parts. And we got to do sort of the same thing. So okay. just sort so them by type. Sort by type. And then go down there and check all of the things that are like all the reviews and the final and all that stuff. Now, this one is fortunately a little bit easier. Okay. Final exam review and final the whole bit. Yep. So now click edit dates up at the top. And in this case, you can just move forward by seven days. Right, because the fifteenth was, you know, seven days before your class starts. So this is a little bit easier than the other one. Okay. Do I need to do set dates? No, just not for now. I'll, I'll tell you where you might want to use that in a minute. So okay. just apply. Um, okay. So so this is usable as is. All right. Okay. Now, now here's where we can get into little nitty gritty details. So um, you can't do much with the homework, but click into like topic review one. So now th here's going to be some places where you just have to think, not the homework, but go down. Yeah, not the homework. We, th this you'll pretty much never change. Okay. Um, but yeah, click the topic one review. And um, so here, the thing, so the way it's currently set up, you see there's some late penalties. Now, these are our personal preferences, right? So we allow late um, work to be turned in. There's okay. this thing called final submission date. Now, in my classes, I make the final submission date four days after the class ends for all of these assignments, right? So I give them a few days after the class ends to get a little bit of work in. So these guys pass if they make a D, right? So okay. it often gets up to the last week of class and they have like 560 points, right? They okay. need 600, right? So if they could just go back and do enough work to get those 40 points, they won't have to retake the class, right? Okay. So I, I tend to give them this extra little buffer at the end to rush in there and try to get some extra work done if they can, right? That's that's the idea. Okay. Um, but I'll, I'll show you how you can set all those at once. You don't have to do this. But the other things you can change here, it's just, we just apply the penalty to the late questions and it's a 5% penalty. In my case, I actually make that a 10%. So these are things I change, right? So I actually make this a 10% instead of a 5% penalty for the, for the quizzes. What's, um, what's best? I'd rather, I, if it's up to me, I'd rather keep it five my first yep, time. And totally be a little, totally up to you. Yep. Be more generous. Okay. Yep. I just want to make you aware of all this, this stuff here. Right. Okay. And so, you know, um, scroll on down. So I think we're actually not going to make any change here, but you know, scroll on down. Oh, there is one. Oh, sorry. I'll show you one thing you might have to change in the future, but you don't have to do it right now. So scroll down just a little bit. What about the final submission date? Because wouldn't that be in March sometime? Yeah, so I'll show you how to do those all okay. at once. Okay. Right? So that's one. Of, that's where we'll use that set date thing. Um, in the future, we may require students to use that lockdown browser. You see where it says students must use lockdown browser. So in my mm -hmm. classes, I have to turn that on. Right. I don't think you need to turn it on yet. Um, okay. and, and probably what's going to happen is eventually when I make the next master template, I'll just turn it on for everybody. Right. Oh. But you might want to be aware that it's there. 
okay? okay? Because again, this is a technology issue. Some students have some issues. Mm -hmm. There's no way to individually change the setting for students, right? So if, if you have a bunch of students with issues, you might have to turn it off for the whole class. Um, but to be honest, I've never had an issue that a student couldn't figure out when I said, just go call tech support and figure it out, <laughs> right? Okay. So, I mean, usually they figure it out. The biggest thing is something called S mode and the lockdown browser is not a safe application for Windows. So they have to turn off S mode. They can't turn it back on. Some students get mad about that. Anyway, that, that's the sort of thing you have to, those are the kind of tech issues that come up, which it's really best just to say, contact GCU tech support and have them deal with this, you know, for you. Okay. Don't try to do too much tech support, right? Okay. Anyway, you can, you can just, I don't think we actually change anything. So you can just push cancel or save. I don't think we change anything. Anyway, just be aware that all these kinds of settings are there. Okay. Um, go down to final and final review. Mm -hmm. So in the final review, that's like a homework, right? So click that one, like we just did the... So I think the default here is not to have the late submission set, right? Now I, en I enable the late submission in my class. If you want that, you would have to click uh, allow late submission. So we can just go through it once. I mean, we'll just set it to 5% like you had the other one, right? So just click allow late submission. Um, you can say apply penalty. And now you can, instead of saying entire assignment, you can say just late problems. All right, and then 5%. And then instead of total possible score, you can say on the earned score, right? Okay. That, and so that matches the previous settings, but there you get to practice doing the settings. So, so again, this will, now the final exam review is like a homework, right? So this yeah. one is gonna play the role of a homework. So basically we're just setting it up like that. Now you can go down and push save. So this one we actually did change. Okay. Uh, and I believe if you click on final exam, I don't remember, I think there's no, um, click on that one. I think you might want, if you want to do it, you have to do the same thing again, right? If you want to make a, if you want to allow them to have that extra little bit. And I would, because that's a hundred points. And if they don't get it done and they have that extra four days, that can definitely mean the difference between passing and not passing, right? And it was late questions only? That's what I do, but they actually only get to take this once. So it probably doesn't act, oh, doesn't really matter. matter, right? And then you, you can choose that to be five and you can do um, just the earn score, right? That, that's a little better for the students. Okay. Uh, and then and then make sure you save it at the bottom. Okay. Okay, now now sort them and then click all the reviews and stuff. So we'll we'll deal with the setting the final submission date all at once. Okay. So now just click on all those things again. The not the homework, not the homeworks, the reviews. Okay. Every everything that's not a um, adaptive assignment. Okay. So all those things. Another thing you might notice is everything's set to open, right? So students can work ahead. The way things are currently set up, okay. right? If you wanted to change that, you could change that too, right? I I like just letting them work when they want to work. It's only seven weeks anyway. So now right. you can click edit dates. Okay. And now we can choose set dates instead of shift dates. And then unclick the start date and due date. So we're just gonna change the final submission date. No, leave that one, unclick the other two, yeah. But no, we don't wanna change those. And now do, do you know the day on which your class ends? You might wanna check in the class real quick. You can just click on the tab, the class resources up there. And then it says March 10th, right? So March 10th. Okay. So now um, go back to the Alex tab. Uh, I don't know if I can see. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now, now click on the calendar there and go to March. Okay. So see, I would set it for the 14th. That's what I do, right? So I give them those extra few days at the end and then apply. I think, um, trying to think, I think for setting up Alex, that's it, right? So the rest is gonna be setting up stuff in Halo, right? 
So you've got your Alex set up now, right? They they okay. should be able to access it. I'm going to share my screen.